Hey everybody, it's your boy Hobo Ryan. I finally did what you guys told me to do. I left the house. I'm scared, alone, and hungry. I mean, look at this. Is this is this what is this what people wanted? The woods. I've been stranded out here for seven days now. What am I gonna do? Eat this tree? I'll freaking do it. So I'm gonna react to a video live in the middle of the woods. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with survival tips to not die. I don't think anyone will watch it, mostly because they won't find it because I'm dead. Are you kidding me? I'm so glad people are littering in the woods. All right. Seriously, can you believe this? People have the absolute nerve to go out of their way to just throw their shit in the woods. I mean, it's the one place where I get to stay away from it. Never forget. Uh-oh. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should get out of here. Maybe we should go react to an actual video. What does this even mean? Why would they put something here? Oh, that's right. I put that there. Here's a dead Christmas tree. It symbolizes my entire YouTube career, really. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Ryan Reacts. Today, we're checking out another suggestion video. And that suggestion is by Matt McBirthday Boy, who writes, Hey Ryan, it's my birthday next Wednesday. I'm gonna be 23. Maybe you could give me a present of finally reacting to Yang vs. Tifa. So for a couple of you guys, you might know Matt as Moderator Matt on my streams, and the fine gentleman who gifted me Danganronpa a long time ago. So, I wanted to celebrate his birthday. My, my little boy's turning 23! Brought a tear to my eyes. But we gotta put all that to the side! We've gotta ask ourselves a question. Who's gonna win? Yang? Or Tifa? Stats say, both have muscles. Stats say, they both got titties. Stats say, they're both females. <laughs> so I guess it's gonna be a pretty even fight. If I had to take a whack, as much as I want Yang to win, I kind of think Tifa's stronger. But, I never actually played Final Fantasy VII. Ah! Oh, usually that follows up with someone hitting me. So even though I know Tifa is super strong, like literally, uh, I don't know anything about her moveset. So I guess we're going to learn in this death battle. I know what Yang does. She punches people. Oh, I guess Yang also- Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Maybe Tifa won't beat Yang, because Yang has the old, uh, OP power of- Oh, you hit me. Well, I'm just gonna hit you times three! So, I'm kind of curious. I think that's gonna be the trump card. I think what's gonna, uh, give Yang the win is that, uh, reverse ability of hers. Either way, I'm gonna watch some girl die a horrible death, and it's gonna be really bad. I hope she breaks her leg. <laughs> That's what I want. I just want Yang to go, eh, <laughs> in Tifa's leg. So then I could be like, mm, you wanted to break Mercury's leg, you little scamp, you. Of course, folks, if you like, check out the original link, more from Ritual Content Creator, which is Screw Attack. Link will be in the description. Break a leg, sis! Punching. The most useful oh God! Fail. And these oh man! Are fluent in it. Yang I'm gonna hope he just put water in his mouth, and, and he isn't just a slobbery boy. With power. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. Are we having a breast competition though? A death battle. Because, I mean, there looked like it was pretty even, Steven. The world of remnants is. 
well crazy. Vicious creatures called Grim run wild. Entire cities have gone to waste, and every I mean, you're not wrong, but I mean, it's a weird thing to put when you have, you know, Tifa's world, which it still says crazy. Luckily, the world is protected. He said, "Luckily, luckily, waka waka, my right, buddy." Warriors, and where else would you get the training to kill bloodthirsty monsters than from high school? I can't believe my baby sister's going to beacon with me. This is the best day ever. Break a leg, Stop. sis. <laughs> She's been playing the scene. Mother to mysterious circumstances and being trained all her life by her hero legend of an uncle, Yang Zhao Long was accepted into Beacon Academy. It's kind of like Hogwarts, except replace wands and books with swords, sniper rifles, and She's 5'8"? That's just weird to me because she's like taller than everybody else. Or maybe it's just Ruby. A natural fighter and thrill seeker at heart, Yang fit right in and soon found herself a member of the color coordinated team, Ruby. Led by her younger sister, Ruby. Because oh god. That's not confusing at all. I'm talking got hair in my mouth. the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with a yang. Eh? Guys? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if it wasn't a pun, it would be really weird. <laughs> I also start off with a bang. Yeah, you're 18. You can't go doing that. A scythe, a couple swords, some big guns. Yang's style of combat takes a more direct approach. Yeah, she does with her shotgun gauntlets. Her two golden bracelets aren't just stylish; they extend to form a weapon. Fires kinetic pulses. I always just thought it shot shotgun shells to be energy, blasting a foe with an explosion of force and a beautiful sound. To top it off, these concussive blasts. I dreamt of doing that too, Yang. Yang is one of the few people I know who can punch a bird out of the sky. Rest <laughs> in peace, Roman. On my car. In addition, like most huntresses, Yang can manifest her soul as an aura. Aura can be used to block deadly attacks and heal minor wounds, and Yang's is no different. But my favorite way she uses her aura is when she goes Super Saiyan. The question, though, is. Could you use the cheap uh, way of saying with Tifa she could just use a Phoenix sound? I guess someone has to use it on her. Never mind then, I guess that wouldn't work. Yang's semblance absorbs damage from hits she takes, adding them to her own physical power. After taking just two Which I really think that's gonna be the one thing that's gonna give her the advantage. Of course, there might be stuff about Tifa, I don't know. Roman cameo. My heart just skipped a beat. force of everything that hits her aura, and can only absorb power so long as she remains conscious. Luckily, she's pretty tough. Yang survived a punch that easily smashed her through a concrete pillar. You know, the ones designed to hold up entire bridges. And during a food fight, remember this is high school, Yang was knocked up into the <laughs> air and did not come back down for about his, seconds. his way of just More saying, you know, memes. What is that on my screen? This means upon landing, oh! she took an impact of nearly 50 tons of force. And stood you just hit me with like 55 no. tons of force when you show Glinda on my screen. How could you? How could you betray me like that? Her aura has a limit, as does her short temper. Pushing both of these too far leaves her Well, it depends. Is this before season 5 or after? Because it seems her dad at least helped her try to get past it. It's also worth noting Wait, when was that? That was 4, huh? Then after 4, she say. Still, she's confident she's one of the best in her class and dedicated to graduating hunter school. Oh yeah, she has her arms. <laughs> Never mind, I just realized. Don't worry guys. The old noodles at work. Yeah, right there, Yang? We trying to eat a bug there? Ha ah! <laughs> got it. Got it. Far to the west on the planet Gaia lies a small mountain village called Nibelheim. <laughs> At first glance, this town appears calm and peaceful. <laughs> oh, Not guys, I'll be honest. Point. I'm more impressed by that boat. It's like, you know what? I'm done being a boat. I am car now. After losing her parents and watching the madman Sephiroth burn her hometown to ashes, Tifa Lockhart joined Avalanche, a group dedicated to protecting the planet from ecological harm and meteors. Speaking of meteors, check out the size of the. Uh, uh, I was talking excuse about me, you startled me. Sure you were. Good sir. Anyway, Tifa was thrust into the stereotypical gender. And to be fair, he would have made the I same jokes about Yang, but. Avalanche home base seventh heaven, but it wasn't all bad because it also doubled as a bar. 
and she doubled as a bouncer. Now, I've been thrown out of my fair share of bars for totally illegitimate reasons, but not even I would urinate on the Seventh Heaven jukebox with Tifa on guard. Smart choice, since she is a master of close quarters combat. Tifa is a faint brawler, adept at surprising foes with quick, powerful strikes. And as she traveled with her friend Cloud to save the planet, she learned seven <laughs> That's power walk. the limit break. Whoa! Accessing and a gambler. Her inner gambler, Tifa's limit breaks include rapid fire punches, explosive throwdowns, and and suplexes. Uppercut people. Well, that's just awesome. And if she manages to throw nobody, all of them in nobody order, told me about this. The last of her limit energy into one final titanic punch, the final heaven. Well, I guess that depends on how many tons. Tifa is ready to throw if I at a moment's notice, and even wears leather gloves everywhere she goes, just in case a fight comes her way. Know how they do this? It's usually mathematics, so I'm gonna guess. Lockhart busts out her two round, beautiful ultimate weapons. Don't you dare! I'm more fascinated with her shiny heart. lips. Oh. One of those. Well, the premium heart increases Tifa's striking power immensely and continues mm. to do so over time as she builds limit energy. Oh However, shit! They use this increase after Tifa uses her limit breaks and need time to charge back up. Oh, that sounds like it could be a problem. Oh, if she didn't also have magic. In Final Fantasy VII, there's a wide variety of magical ability granting gems called materia. Any person can wield any materia, and it's up to the game's actual player to decide who gets what. Get oh, the that seems loophole guys. However, thanks to the Dissidia Fighting series, we know Tifa prefers to carry fire and ice materia into battle. These fire and ice materia huh. let Tifa Is that really... Is that really canon, though? Ice. I mean, you can do what you want. Who, who do I care? Strength, and she's like an unstoppable powerhouse. Hey, Sora. Well, her immense power does come at a price. Her skills and speed and defense are somewhat lacking, making her something of a glass cannon. Oh Coming boy. Up to this, Tifa wears two armor pieces. She wears a ribbon on her arm in memory <laughs> of her late friend Eric. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't bring that up. Which protects her from negative effects like poison and paralysis. She also likely wears the Minerva band to defend I mean. from fire and ice. That's RPG, I can't really say anything. Ridiculous. She's strong enough RPG, she usually is like, like you're wearing a bikini! Ten million defense! Around like nothing. And there was the time she helped throw Cloud through the air to reach the flying monster Bahamut Sin. After leaving Tifa's hand, you can see a mock cone form around Cloud. Which means oh boy. Tifa must have helped throw him with enough force to break the sound barrier. Oh, oh shit. A lightweight. Come on, how hard can that be? Well, factoring in the weight of Cloud and his giant weapon. <laughs> He must have been thrown with up to 153 tons of force. Well, shit, what was the other one? Power. You don't want oh, shit. I don't remember what strong. they said before. Didn't they say firm? No. Fists. Also, she's got a really nice rag. Did I mention that yet? I mean, I think you've been alluding to it. A hot diggity dog. All done. Ah, you said that in my hentai. Hold on, everybody. I'm gonna do the math and figure this out beforehand. Oh, God! Uh oh! <laughs> 153, the other one's 48. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! That's not good. Because <laughs> it seems every time we've ever done one of these death battles, they've mostly done it purely on mathematics. Um, or at least the ones I've watched. Oh, shit. Am I gonna watch Yang explode into a billion pieces? Well, there is 9,000 dislikes. <laughs> but that's not really saying much. I feel like every death battle has at least 9,000 dislikes. Because the, the fact of the matter is, every death battle has at least one person die. And if you're gonna kill off someone's favorite character, you're gonna get dislikes here and there. But anyways, let's see how the battle goes. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Oh boy, Yang. Dark girl! <laughs> what, what, what's, what? What? Hold on a second. What is that man? You are not human! Or drawn right. Hold You're up. one or the this other. My oh my god, buddy! Thank you for killing that monster. Also, Tifa, you look weird too. Hello. 
Oh god, did they try to put Tifa into the animation style of Yang? Oh hey, they got Barbara. Wonder how Tifa's Sorry, miss. I think you'd better turn yourself around and look Oh Tifa, you look like an abomination! Does this mean no sunrise? It's either that or you do not mix well with these graphics. Oh no, please god, no, not this music. Oh no. How can I focus on a fight when I'm trying not to freaking rip my own ears out? Hey, you did your ice attack. Good job. Yeah, you say that now, but at some point. Oh my god, you like can't freaking demonize! Oh, please, yeah, kill it! Please kill it with fire! Oh my god, it's so creepy. Oh. I think what's, like I said, what's messing me up is the contrast and different 3D animations. But I guess, oh, her face is freaking me out. It's all like freaking ugh, puppety. Oh God, who's the prettiest of them all? I don't know, Mirror. Just please kill me. Can I use your shards to stab my eyes out? Wait, that would defeat the purpose, I guess. <laughs> Really bad if she's like, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, dang it. Don't hit me yet. I was trying to be cool. Oh, God, Yang. It's a cool fight, though. I gotta say. If I wasn't so distracted by how much Tifa grosses me out. Woo! Yang, watch out! Suck him up. Suck it up, girl. Oh boy. Okay, you're all right. I was worried. All right. Oh shit, she bleeding. Whoa, Tifa, Yen can't be around gambling. That she can't be. She can't be gambling. She's 17, right? They say 17 or 18. I don't remember. Whoa. <laughs> uh, 10 points for Dolphin Dive. <laughs> Tifa, you lost. Do you see that hair? That hair gives her ten times the power. It's fact. Oh boy. You know what? I got? It's like whoever like has. Oh! Oh no! Yes! Oh! Why did you take the head off? Can we just get rid of the head? I was right. It was the uh, absorb thing that was gonna was naturally stronger and more experienced than Yang. Give her the win. But Yang's semblance quickly turned all Tifa's power against her. Even the Minerva Band, the best of Tifa's armor options to counter Yang's strength and shotgun blast, was eventually overtaken by the semblance. Plus, while Tifa could lift creatures many times heavier than Cloud using her limit breaks, she never shows this kind of strength anywhere else, implying that this power is exclusive to those limit breaks rather than something she possesses naturally. Huh. And even though okay, Tifa's that makes sense. premium heart increased in power over time, they reset after her limit breaks while Yang's power kept on rising. However, Yang's real trump card was her aura. Her semblance would have been useless oh. if she could not survive Tifa's attack. Oh, that's Luckily, a valid her point. Her aura is durable enough to take a punch that shattered a concrete pillar about four feet wide, a feat which requires at least 14. Though, to be fair, I feel like her aura has fallen to lesser things. But, I don't know. Yang's power just pulled through in a snap. The winner is Yang Xiaolong. <laughs> I don't like how you had to keep the face. The face was creeping me out. Couldn't you just blown next up the face? What's Bell. next time? I mean, that's already happened. NWO? Hello, Chad and Ben and all you Death Battle fans. Hello, man, I don't know. Oh, Wizard and Boomstick had a great scheme going on for a while there. Having you follow them on Twitter. I mean, I'm done with my reaction. The characters. They were gonna massacre in the next I think I should leave. Well, now it's my turn. Please don't rape me. You see this? No. It's the hard drive that contains all the death battle matchups and outcomes for the next year. Whoa. And it's mine now. That's that's not if good, If you ever but want to see your precious death battle again. I don't really. Well, you know what to do. I did what he told me to do, guys. Just click off the video and act like you didn't see anything. <laughs> you know what gets in subscribers, guys? Terroristic threats. That's what I've always been saying.
You want you want views, kids? Terroristic threats. Find dead people. Brag about finding dead people. You get all of that, you slam it into a freaking little bottle and hot diggity dog! You YouTube famous guys. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't get me banned off YouTube, please. Love you. Well, that was a really good video, folks. I'm gonna be honest though. The fact that people wanted me uh, or suggested to me, or I should say because Matt suggested to me, uh, I had a sneaking suspicion that means Yang was going to win. But guys, you know what we learned here today? Everybody likes boobies. Unless that face is attached to it. Please, please never do that again. Anyways, hey, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, write a comment on what you like me react to next. And if you want to throw a couple bucks to help me out, I have a Patreon. Now, excuse me, I got some things to do. That's not actually true, I'm just going to sit here and have a nap.